Well, it's the first game of the 2022 NFL season. Thanks for joining me. I'm David Llewellyn, and you're watching Picks with David. As we begin here today, it's our first game of the season, opening up here on Thursday Night Football on NBC. And, you know, it's uh, <clears throat> really great, you know, to open up this season. What a matchup we have here in the opening game of the year. The Buffalo Bills at the Los Angeles Rams. And you've got the two-time defending AFC champions coming to town against the Super Bowl champion Los Angeles Rams. And there's been a lot of changes in the offseason. And we'll begin with the Buffalo Bills. Sean McDermott and Josh Allen are coming to town. And they're the favorites this year in all of football to possibly win the Super Bowl. In fact, this matchup here between them and the Rams is a possible Super Bowl preview. And as we look at the Buffalo Bills, they let Cole Beasley go as Isaiah McKenzie has started to come up, you know, in the ranks there for the Bills. The uh, offensive coordinator, Brian Dayball, left and went to the New York Giants to become head coach. And so Ken Dorsey has been promoted to the offensive coordinator position. Now, for me, I'm a little concerned about that because I think that even though it's going to be the same system, Buffalo is looking at possibly, you know, it may take them a little while for them to acclimate together because they may not be quite on the same page because of maybe the new direction of the play calling by Dorsey. But all over the field, Josh Allen has weapons to get the football to. Stephon Diggs, Gabriel Davis, Isaiah McKenzie. As far as the running game goes, the Bills have been a bit of a disappointment when it comes to running the football. They've had Devin Singletary and they've had Zach Moss. And this year, they had James Cook, the brother of Dalvin Cook. And so, you know, they've got a three-headed monster here. They have a very good offensive line. Personally, I'd like to see the Buffalo Bills run the football a little bit more and keep Josh Allen out of harm's way as he seems to take a lot of hits. Now, as we talk about the Los Angeles Rams, the first thing you can say is, is that, you know, they went for it all last year and they made it work. They brought in Eric Weddle off the street from retirement and he played a key part on the defense. They traded for Vaughn Miller, who coincidentally left in the offseason and became a Buffalo Bill. So that's a big story in the offseason when it comes to the defense. Now the Rams added Bobby Wagner from the Seattle Seahawks. And so Sean McVay's team, led by Matthew Stafford, you know, they're a high-powered offense, predicated on running the football and a lot of play-action passing. Miracle of miracles last year, Cam Akers come back from an Achilles tear and ended up starting in the Super Bowl at running back. He made a difference in the playoffs for them, and so we'll look for them to run the football. We'll look for them to get the ball down the field to their big-time wide receivers. Of course, Cooper Cup led the league. He was the Triple Crown winner, receiver yards, receptions, touchdowns, Super Bowl MVP. You know, and across from him, he was used to having Odell Beckham Jr., who was brought in at midseason last year. Beckham's out, and he's hurt. He hasn't re-signed with the team. They traded away, uh, you know, Robert Woods to the Tennessee Titans, and so in comes Allen Robinson II, a free agent from the Chicago Bears, and so, you know, they're looking for him to be a big play receiver across from Cooper Cup, take some of those double teams away. And so as we look at our game here on Thursday night, the opener, I want to take the opportunity to point out a few players that I think are going to have major impact in this game. And that's going to be our spotlight players of the game 
Allen Robinson, of course, as I mentioned before, come over from Chicago. He hasn't really had a big-time wide receiver to get him the ball, but he's been a very effective playmaker down the stretch for several, you know, different quarterbacks there in Chicago. I think he's going to be a big play player for the Rams. Gabriel Davis, who caught four touchdown passes against the Kansas City Chiefs in the AFC Divisional Playoffs, He's going to be the second wide receiver for the Buffalo Bills across from Stephon Diggs. I think both of these players are guys to look out for in this particular game. While I think both teams ought to lean on their running game, we know it's going to be a pass-happy situation there in SoFi Stadium. And so the opening game of the season Really looking forward to this new year of the NFL season. We got Buffalo and the Rams for opening night. What a game. And so I'm going to take, in this instance, because they're playing at home, Buffalo's got so much pressure on them to perform and, you know, supposedly go to the end and win the Super Bowl. The Rams should be relaxed. I'm going to take the Los Angeles Rams to win this particular game here today. So there you have it, my first video of the year. I hope you enjoyed following along with me in my new format here. And if you did, be sure to like and subscribe as I'm going to be here on YouTube and on Facebook. Thanks for joining me, and we'll see you on Sunday for the first weekend of the season.